I've been accused of being like chilled and a little bit of blase about the cars that we drive. It's not very often that you actually see me like a bit of a, like a, bit of a groupie actually. I mean, I got dressed this morning, check out, check my shoes, put on my racing shoes with, with red detailing. <laughs> I haven't put on a red shirt. The watch has got like a little touch of red and black. And then you arrive here and they give you a coffee in a red mug. Like I honestly need a coffee right now. I am so fired up, so excited. I'm ready. Can you actually believe it? <laughs> I'm driving in a practical supercar from Ferrari. Who would have thought? And just to prove how practical it is, it's even practical in how it's been named. FF. Four-seater, four-wheel drive. First Ferrari that has ever come out of the four-wheel drive system. And what I love about the 4RM system, I thought, oh, here we go, all-wheel drive. It's gonna be like uh, ruining all the fun. Mm, this is a proper driver's all-wheel drive system because the minute you start getting creative and active and you really start exploring the boundaries, all the drive goes to the rear. Are you ready? I love that. 8,000 revs, man. That is where the thing starts really singing and the brakes are incredible. But this is a bit that I can't believe, how responsive it is. On the steering, I point the nose and that's where this nearly two-ton car goes. It is unbelievable. The things you know in a Ferrari F1 inspired steering wheel. The Minetto system has now got five options. I can put it into ESC off, put it into sport mode, which obviously allows me to play. It's got comfort mode, wet, and obviously icy conditions. Quick turn of the dial, and uh, the car is in the sweet spot, depending on what driving conditions you want to be in. In comfort mode, who would have thought it was a comfortable drive around town, even on our dodgy roads? I was a little bit worried though, you know, driving around town. I was like, where's the soundtrack? Well, the soundtrack is there. All you need to do, put it into sport mode, which we've done. Go and push the auto button that takes it into manual mode. Give a nice little blip down on the paddle shifts. And this is where the drama starts. <laughs> Remember I said to you it's FF? It's fast. It is 0 to 100 in 3.7 seconds. 335 kilometers an hour top speed. Man, that is ferocious. You see, you drive it like this, and then suddenly you're not practical anymore. Suddenly you're not worried about the fact that you've actually got luggage in the back, or that you might even have passengers in the back, because you just become this naughty little devil. And it also makes you forget a couple of really stupid things that kind of don't work. I got in it and I thought, how cool. All the buttons are on the F1 inspired wheel. If I want to put my brights on, flash my lights, put on my windscreen wipers, everything, even the indicators are all on the wheel. The problem is when you start uh, going through circles and you're trying to change indicators and put indicator on, you're getting yourself all tangled, crossed up like, uh, like a pretzel. But then again, I realized <laughs> you're driving an FF, you're in a Ferrari. Seriously, you're going to use indicators? <laughs> Who cares? All right, enough hooligan behavior. Covering ground very quickly is only part of a Ferrari's appeal. The FF is a big car, nearly five meters long to be exact, yet it exudes all the elegance, all the athleticism, and all the exclusivity that you would expect from a Ferrari. And the interior doesn't disappoint either. The quality of the Frau Anilein leather is impeccable and the attention to detail really does befit a supercar. And that's just part of the story. There was a time when you couldn't see out of the back of a supercar. Now you can fit in it. It also has a decently sized boot, even though the spare wheel consumes a big part of it. Fortunately, the rear seats can be tilted forward to increase the luggage space. The only problem I have though is that Ferrari equals Fiat, uh, Fiat equals Chrysler, which is why you have this, the Jeep infotainment system. Maybe a little cheap for Ferrari, don't you think?
at just over 4 million rand. Let's be honest, this is the sort of place the FF is going to call home. Do you remember growing up as a boy? You had that dream of owning a Ferrari, but as you got older, that dream kind of diminished. Then along came the FF. This for me is the sensible grown-up man supercar. But the big question is, has Ferrari lost any of its core integrity? That <laughs> blood-curdling thrill you get out of driving a big V12 by going with a four-wheel drive system? No, it is really, really good. In actual fact, the FF has given the brand a new lease on life, so to speak, a new target market, because it actually has four seats that are practical and usable, and a boot, fantastic. I know, I get told a lot that I have the best job in the world, but you know what? <laughs> Some days are just better than others. <laughs> <laughs>